After three long years of increasing inflation, everlasting bidding wars, and even the once cheap housing vicinities showing soaring prices, it was pretty much impossible to own a house for the middle class. But what if we tell you that the prices are finally coming down, and it is more than likely that you will land a great deal in one of your favorite neighborhoods? Yes, gentlemen, the real estate market is finally cooling down. Here are the five telltale signs that will tell you that the housing market is finally cooling down. Ask any buyer about their experience trying to get into a house during the last two years, and they'll likely tell you how fast they had to make their decision to put in an offer. Homes were going on and off the market so fast that buyers often didn't even get a chance to go see them. They just had to wait to pounce on the next listing. But things are changing quite rapidly. But before we move on, make sure you press the like and subscribe buttons so that you stay updated with everything regarding the real estate market. Number 1. Inventory is finally growing. With demand for homes outstripping supply, the inventory of homes for sale had been consistently declining year over year during the pandemic housing boom. This was one of the main contributing factors to the surging housing prices. But since then, the situation has taken a 180 degree of rotation. Talk about demand and supply. Finally, the inventory is growing as compared to the pandemic times, when the prices were red hot. And before you blinked your eyes, your favorite house was gone, sold. During the height of the pandemic, homes were getting tons and tons of offers, including many that were well above the asking price and some that were all cash. There were simply too many buyers and not enough homes to go around. A serious inventory shortage was one of the biggest drivers of increased housing prices during the pandemic. Demand was booming thanks to the proliferation of remote work, but there just weren't enough houses for all the people who wanted to buy in the places they wanted to buy at least. The housing supply is still significantly smaller than it was before the pandemic, but the crunch is beginning to ease. There were 1.16 million unsold homes on the market at the end of May, according to the National Association of Realtors NAR, a 13% jump from the previous month. Talking about stats, in June, there were 19% more listings of houses, as compared to the previous year. And interesting, this increase in listings has been significant in states like Austin and Texas, which were the hotspots for soaring prices have shown an increase of 145% in inventory. And this is seriously good news for the housing market. Number 2. Sales are slowing down As inflation pushes prices higher, the bear market takes a toll on portfolios and mortgage rates remain elevated. Americans aren't buying as many houses as they did last year. With sales slowing down, this might just be the opportunity of a lifetime for you. Sales of existing homes fell 3.4% between April and May. They were down 8.6% compared to May 2021, according to NAR. Meanwhile, sales of newly constructed homes dropped 6% on an annual basis, U.S. Census Bureau data shows. Home prices have finally slowed down after two long years of skyrocketing prices, and they have almost reached the levels same as those in 2019 which is great news for potential buyers. With the sales finally slowing down, now you don't have to struggle in those long bidding wars or wait for an appointment with some real estate agents who apparently are already busy making deals with other clients. It has become more than possible to finally land a whopping deal to buy your dream house in your favorite state. Number 3. Mortgage applications are finally slowing down Interest rates greatly affect the number of people who can afford to buy a house at any given time Low rates make it more affordable to buy a house, so more people are out house hunting. If you're a buyer, this means you'll face more competition from other buyers. And if you're a seller, this means you could benefit from bidding wars. But on the flip side, higher rates make it more expensive to buy a house, leading to a lower number of buyers searching for homes. As record high inflation persists and recession fears mounts, the Federal Reserve has been rapidly raising its benchmark interest rate this year in an attempt to prevent the economy from overheating. When the Fed tightens the strings of the economy by making it more expensive for the banks to borrow from one another, banks generally raise borrowing costs for consumers. So mortgage rates have doubled, surging from 3% to nearly 6% in the past six months, forcing many hopeful home buyers to step away from the market. Rates have slid a bit since peaking in June, but buyers are still wary. Mortgage applications for the purchase of single-family homes during the week ending July 1st were down 17% compared to the same week in 2021, according to the data from the Mortgage Bankers Association. Number 4. Buyers are backing out of deals 
Some 60,000 home purchase agreements fell out of contract in June, according to data from the real estate brokerage firms. That's 15% of all homes that went under contract in that month and the largest share of failures since the beginning of the pandemic. When all goes exactly according to plan, a house that goes under contract will eventually get sold and officially change hands from the seller to the buyer within about a month or two. But when something unexpected happens, like a buyer's financing falls through or a big problem comes up during the inspection or the appraisal deals can fall through. These canceled or terminated contracts can be a signal that the market is cooling off a bit. Now, you might be wondering why the buyers are backing down from deals. One of the major reasons for the buyers to step back is the increased mortgage price. Some buyers are no longer qualifying for their mortgages due to the effect which inflation has had on the lives of ordinary citizens and therefore can't close on homes once completed. Some buyers are simply walking away from their own accord, concerned about inflation and potential for home values to drop. This can mean giving up pricey deposits, but state laws vary widely on the requirement for builders to refund cash deposits. All of this is contributing towards the cooling of the market, and this can be potentially a great opportunity for people to buy their ideal place in their favorite state. Cancellations on existing homes are particularly high in Florida, which saw a massive influx of buyers during the first year of the pandemic and also saw some of the strongest home price appreciation in the nation during that time. The city of Jacksonville saw the most contracts canceled in the state, about 800 agreements in July, or 29.3% of homes that went under contract. Orlando, Daytona, Palm Bay, and Pensacola also saw some of the highest cancellations, in addition to Las Vegas and San Antonio. Number five, sellers are slashing their prices. If you've been looking at homes, you may be noticing something you haven't seen in a long time, price cuts. For a while, homes were selling so quickly and often with bidding wars that sellers would commonly get more than they asked for. But as affordability challenges squeeze buyers and there is less competition to buy, some sellers are deciding to lower their price. As more and more buyers are being forced to sit on the sidelines, a growing portion of sellers is cutting prices to stay competitive. According to some real estate firms, an average of 7% of homes for sale had a price drop. That's the largest share since some researchers began tracking that metric in 2017. Some of the pandemic's hottest cities have seen the most price cuts over the past year. In May, for instance, 48% of homes for sale in Provo, Utah had price drops. The city saw its median home price skyrocket by more than 65% during the pandemic. This also means that now a void has been created in the housing market which can also play in your hand by helping you find your dream house for a negotiated price. So, that was all for today. What are your thoughts on the housing market? Is the market cooling down or is it speculation like always, playing with our minds? Let us know in the comments section below. Moreover, do you want us to make a separate video on mortgage rates? Let us know below. Make sure you press the like and subscribe button and press that notifications button. We'll see you guys in the next video.